Mr. Billy Reed, we so and so and so and so. And that guy, he did this all when they got through telling their stories and stuff like that with Chief, uh, Chief Booth. He was swelling up, getting mad all the time. You know, but when they finished it up, I told the city manager somehow, is any of these people going to be in danger from what they have told? I said, if so, I want it known right now that the people responsible in here, you got the chief here, I said, and you're here. I said, you're our city manager. I said, we come to the city fathers to try and get a wrong that was done corrected. I said, but if y'all are going to continue to punish these people that came up and told and spoke the truth, I said, they are registered voters. I said, I want to make that clear, too. Alan was sitting over there studying right. And uh, they didn't want to challenge all that, so they decided to go ahead and do what was right. They got rid of that officer. <laughs> Yeah, they, they, they sent him to Paris. But no, I haven't, I haven't heard nothing from no person that was there about uh, uh, that incident, nothing. Mm -hmm. So they just they just dropped it right there. Well, that's where it was supposed to be dropped at, you know. Not catch some man on a corner somewhere. Yeah, you were in so-and-so and so-and-so, come in. You know, all this kind of stuff. And that, there was no need for that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it would have been. Uh, contrary to the Constitution of the United States if they had done that. Because they're just working as a peace officer, not as a judge or a jury. That's right. See? That's right. He served his time. Yeah they, yeah, they they did what was right at the time and they told the truth and they weren't supposed to be prosecuted for it by each individual officer that was in uniform paid by the people of Congress. Yeah, that that was not supposed to happen. But anyway we got that, that thing squared away and cleared and that uh, they never, oh, but before it happened, shoot, I would come in from Dallas from work, you know, sometime at 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, shoot, police car would run up behind my, I, I had a Cadillac at the time, run up behind my Cadillac, you know, real close, lights on bright, I just keep continuing driving the same speed I was driving, and uh, they stopped when they got to the track. I know he somebody told him something down the city, down at the police station or something other. No, nah, you leave him alone. That's that's that Billy Reed. We don't want to hear his mouth. Yeah, we don't want to hear his mouth or something or something to contribute to that. But anyway, they never did pull me over, but they they sure run up behind my car a lot of times. But we got things pretty much squared away. Was there, what, how did that, uh, that event in particular, could you, uh, was, uh, people were very happy about that, I imagine. It, was, it felt like a very big, major triumph, I imagine. Uh, yeah, the people there, but I'll tell you what, it was a, a, a bigger issue and a better trial with the people out here on the, on the, on the, at the university. They knew they had an organization out there that was, could get things done. And uh, the people here in the journalism department, I have had to come out here and talk with them just like I'm talking with you now about that incident. Well, how did you manage to work your way through that? Uh, the paper said so and so and so and so. You, what did you, uh, uh, how did you, where did you get that, uh, that information? Where did you get the knowledge from to, uh, to handle that in the way that you handled it? I said, well, now, in public speaking, I was just, I said, I kind of picked it up from what I was taught by various people and by different organizations. I said, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a member of a church, and I'm the, uh, uh, the lead trustee in the church. I said, no, I'm, I'm chairman of the, of the trustee board. I said, I've got to talk to people. I said, if I do it in church, it's no more to me than in church. Uh, they're doing it in church than it is doing it before. It's still an audience. I said, that's the way my mind uh, uh, you know, the way it's contemplated in my mind, I, said, I don't know just what, uh, uh, how you might feel. I said, but that's my feeling. I didn't, I didn't feel nothing. I said, it's just something that I was didn't need to be done. It was my job to do it. I said, that's that was just it. 
Were you ever afraid that, that there might be some more serious retaliation against you? Uh, you, yes. you were sort of a target in a way because you spoke up and it was Billy Reed, it wasn't the people in the Norris community, well they were behind you. Yeah, but I, I made it clear, I made it perfectly clear each time that I represented either a group of people uh, that at the time that I represented whatever uh, event uh, that took place. Well, I let them know that, look, I am the spokesman for the Norris community. We are a chartered organization. I said, I'm their spokesman. And they vote. <laughs> and, and they voted for me to do this. So I am doing this. And some of them would get all upset and some of them get bent out of shape, but they, they never did. Well, they tried to challenge me because uh, some of them would, they put out a little deal about that, uh, uh, saying that if uh, 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 they were going to, the city were going to file suit on me for my, uh, 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 for my part in it. Wow. And, uh, and I talked to uh, Lawyer King, he was my, our lawyer at the time, and I talked to him and I asked him, he said, well, since uh, Reacher, they can sue you for anything at any given time, so it doesn't mean they're going to get that. <laughs> <laughs> and the popes, uh, uh, I, don't, I don't know which pope it was, but one of the popes wrote me a letter. Uh, it came to my uh, post office box. They said, uh, said, Reed, don't pay no mind to the city. Let them sue you. So we are ready, and we're going to fight for you until the end. So there's nothing they can do to you. And if they try, we want to know about it. So because we're going to get a few things to get on to them about. And it never came up. They never filed, they never sued, they never filed suit on me. But uh, yes, I was afraid of that. That's why I went to the lawyer. Mm -hmm. and, uh, uh, because, you know, I know that uh, a bullet might have my name on it. I don't know. But I wasn't afraid to the point where I was going to jump off in a ditch or something, or yeah. hide or something, because you couldn't hide. All I would do is was spoke the truth. And if they want to do that for me, I'm going to die sometime, I know, one of these days. <laughs> and, uh, and and people knew that, and they knew that's the way that I felt. So if you want to take my life, it ain't nothing I can do with it, but now if you take it in my print, I'm going to be trying to take yours. Now that's, <laughs> you know, if you try to come to my face with it, yeah, but now as far as taking my life, life and I don't know about it, well then have at it. Because it's you and the good Lord for that because I'm going to leave here one day. There's a, um, a, a, another incident that I understand uh, really had the community up in arms and it didn't go as successfully from what I understand. Um, uh, 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 there's a, a, a stone in the, uh, in, the, in, the cem in the Lebanon cemetery of a of a kid, he may have been nine or ten, I guess, that was, that is, um, I guess was commissioned by the Norris School, and I think he was killed by a drunk driver on Park Street, and there was apparently a, a really, a real strong push to, apparently nothing happened to the driver. Are you familiar with any of this? Or is this